It came! It finally came! <laughs> the big one. Hello, Christians on YouTube. This is the most must-see and subscribe to here on YouTube for the Dragonius, or should I say, the online ambassador of Black Marsh. You see, I have shed some skin. Well, that is pretty much why I look different, because I literally had shed some skin. Actually, no. Even though at least it's unknown to do that, but I'm not quite sure about us Dragonians. But the reason why I just made this video is I'm here to show you what I have purchased from some website that is based in Bangkok, Thailand, which is called For Fun. Just to let you know that I'm not sponsored by them, so they are actually a real company that have made such body suits like these. These are known as pet suits. Just mind you that I am not sponsored by Full Fun of Bangkok or pet suits in, other, in any other way. I just brought it. And I just thought, well, just to uh, put the 360 around. They are pretty much a legit company um, from Thailand. Yeah, I do admit that they do sell fetish gear on their website or something like that, but hey, as a far as they brought it from Bad Dragon, and that's basically a fetish type company. They charge with two currencies. They charge in the US dollar and their own Thai currency. I'm not quite sure if it's a dong or, well, I could be thinking of China, but that's just about all. The way that they do their businesses is very, very, um, really amazing. You know, they're very cooperative and all that kind of stuff. This is Future View, Bruce. I was just talking as I'm editing it. I just wanted to address that seeing that the majority of the furry fandom is all LGBT. This company that is for fun actually does cater to that and are very openly supportive of that. So, and I'm just saying as a good addition for all you people of the LGBT community, which I know that is the majority of the furry fandom. So, anyway, let's go to the past Bruzo. It kind of sucks that they don't really charge in Australian currency as well. Because the thing about it is, and this is one of the problems that that can relate if you were to if you live in Australia and you just buy something from overseas because as you already know the rates between Australia and the US kind of go like up and that like a roller coaster in other words it can be more cheaper because of the value of the Australian dollar had came up versus it can be, be more expensive because to some other countries the value of the Australian dollar had gone way down. But this has nothing to do with currency. But this is one of the thi one of the factors that I end up personally having to face ordering these pet suits. But anything else, they're really amazing to do business with. Um, you know. Yeah, I do have to, I am very, very patient with them, um, even though that these are very custom made, um, with their scales and all that kind of stuff. They are at first very, very hard to put on, even though they're pretty much the specification of the wearer. Yes, it's a bit of a struggle to get to, including those zips, including what in the back. Yep, and there's me tail. Just know that the tail is not dragging on the ground. And that's another thing that I really do like about it. Even though that this is just a one piece suit, as you can see here, you know, the hands are just attached to the sleeve like that. I pretty much ordered the, the the sleeves and that, like, you know, the zips. Even though that I was going to do a custom made for Bruzel, but the thing about it is that this is the cheapest one that they really do offer in US dollars. They are around $199.99 or 
Say in Western Europe, they have the uh, $200. They need the cheapest that they can go in these pet suits. But, however, you can also get them customised to your own persona. But these can cost more up to, as I believe, $239 US. And even though that I did want to get it customised to Bruiser specifications and all that kind of stuff, I feel that this would be a bit of a good start because of the fact being is that even though they have many options of having the hands, you can choose with the hands being detached or in a one piece, you can even choose to have crotch zippers. And yes, I did mean that right because of the fact being is that for fun is basically how can I say, they pretty much also sell fetish gear and all that kind of stuff. Not to mention top gear as well, because the fact being is that you can also buy pup hoods if you are a pup, or if you are aspiring to be a pup. And what I mean pup, you know what I mean, puppy play. I can't really explain or show you all of this because I'm just wearing shorts. So I'm going to have to let my human self do the show you what do the tour. Do Take it away, human bruiser. Um, this is a uh, human bruiser in that showing you the features of the, uh, the pet suit or, or something like that that I've got from Thailand. So I know for a fact being is that first of all, I just wanted to show you the detachable tail just there. If I can just get it to the lens. So yeah, there's the tail there. First and foremost, you can um, order it as in attached, you know, uh, with or without the tail. I got this um, with the detachable tail. Um, the way that the detachable tail works is that, you know, they're, they're those little uh, black pins there. Even though that they're pretty uh, strong, but I'm just pulling it right now. So if I can get the uh, the camera, you know, focusing a bit, and even though it's upside down, so uh, the reason why it's attached is that there's these for these pins um, there, which is those black pins. So I can just simply, um, if I can change tails, um, they're very very hard to to get off or something like that. Uh, the way to do it is that they're those uh, clip-on pins. They, that I put on could actually go right off just like that and what what I really do like about detachable tails which is this one there um, this is the piece um, that I'm just showing you is that if I do end up deciding if they do sell, sell custom tails or whatever and if I say if I wanted a big one you know of this or if I can uh, modify it or whatever you know I can I can just use this as the uh, you know, all I needed to do is to have those um, those pins there. They're pretty strong, but even though that they are strong, and even though that they would be connected right to my body, just because it's so, please, I discourage you, or if not, please do not um, pull my tail or or anyone's tail. I really do discourage that. So um, please, uh, if you see me around, please don't do that. So this is just the end of the um, the thing. With the tail. Now I know for sure that this uh, company that I got this get this bodysuit from is they sell you know they basically sell fetishes, fetish gear and pup gear and all that kind of stuff. Like, but for this one, um, as you can see, this is just basically the uh, the legs um, or underneath it with the ones that are for like mirror suits or something like that, they would have, or anything fetish or something like that, they would have the, um, they would have a hole just up along this side, but I ordered not to have the zip in the crotch. So to be honest with you, um, I know for sure that, that I can't go to the toilet um, or whatever in this. And if I do order a, a hole or something like that, you know, people would end up getting the wrong ID. Like I said, this is just the, uh, this is just the um, the bodysuit or something like that that I just ordered. Um, 
there's even though there's got like at the grand scale so there's the uh, the muscle thing because uh, you know Bruto is really intended to have the muscles and all that kind of stuff you know or I have the muscles you know normally in, me, in my design I'll show you I'll show you how the tail ends up putting back on where simply what you do the way that I put it on if I wanted to want it on is that I just you know with those little things and I just sort of clip them on just like uh, that so so there is no hole right at the back of the um, the bodysuit unlike my other one and the reason why I got a hole in the other one is so I can get the tail on and just to hide it that to keep it in one piece but like I said this is basically um, do more better and it's just the back look to the along the wrong size. Usually in these suits and that, in these pet suits, um, as standard, the zip is really right at the back, um, just over there, like this is the back now. I probably would do a 360 turn, so that's a suit there. It's pretty well hidden, so all I do is that, you know, um, these are pretty much small, so I can just simply just, these are pretty hard to do it. I don't want to um, rack it, you know, because it's a new thing. So there's a zip there um, that goes right down just above the tail, and it's very well hidden, as, as you can see that. So they did very well with the um, the zipping and all that kind of stuff. And also these are also the hands that's actually attached to the to the suit. Um, and there's the, uh, the zip. So I ordered the one where the zips are actually on the uh, the arms um, because I'm much of a gamer. And not to mention that um, I do TikTok videos and, and all that kind of stuff that you can actually see. I don't know how the spandex would work with with touchscreen devices, but there's a uh, there's a hidden uh, slot where I can you know put my human hands out. So um, so there's a zip there um, that goes right there. The hole should be, the hole should be, that's a hole there, and that should be big enough for my hand to go in and out. So as you can see here, that's the um, the entire suit um, that is off. Um, that is just basically the lining on the inside. With body suits like that, in cosplay thing, you know, even if you do wear standards, I mean, <coughs> one of spandex, um, and there's a fitzy that is connected to the entire um, suit there. You know, this is just the back end and all that kind of stuff. Um, there's, it's just all in one piece. Now, if you were to go out there on a convention space, you know, just for cosplay things and that, um, please, 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 whatever you do, if you want to wear these sort of um, spandex suits, you know, whether it's form fitting, like uh, whether it's like b being cosplaying as Spider Man, um, or being a Power Ranger, or if you are a fursuiter that has a full form fitting um, style bodysuit, Please, please, please get yourself this um, this dance belt. Reasonably cheap. Um, I think that I got it for 15 to about 20 bucks uh, from some company in Queensland. I had it shipped to me. And what it does that is that you wear these right underneath, so it won't reveal the the bulge and um, and the unmentionable boards downstairs. So. Please, if you were to uh, get get a form-fitting suit, or if it would be, you know, wearing spandex or anything, this would be a really, really good investment. So there it is. It's a it's a dance belt, um, even though that the camera view is just uh, off of that. So this is just basically what it looks like. If I if I can't uh, show it or something like that, um, I'm going to be uh, wearing that as Bruzo underneath. Um, you won't you won't see it. And the reason why I would do that is that, well, um, it's just to hide my uh, unmentionables, um, like man parts down there. And it'll just do more better. Trust me. Back to Bruiser the Lizard. I was going to do the, uh, the pool thing, but I don't know how uh, Artemis usually does it. You know, because I just thought, well, I just wanted to copy off Artemis. 
other misses are uh, fetching all that kind of stuff, and I do really do watch his channel. But anyway, let's get on topic. Even though that it does take a lot of effort to to put on this uh, to put on this uh, pet suit or something like that, or what they call a pet suit, and just to let you know that, like I said, the uh, zips are well hidden, so it's really amazing. Um, even though that that if I pretty much can, um, you know, I probably might just need to uh, know why that other fursuits would put their hand paws in that because of the zipper thing. But it does take a lot of effort to put these on, even though that the zipper is at the back. Um, the stitching and all that kind of stuff is very seamless and very well done. I love the uh, detail of the scales um, because of on the lizard or something like that. And it is very much hard to find a pet suit that really fits Bruiser very well, especially for hands, even though that they're just like gloves and all that kind of stuff. I, I don't know why. A lot of details into into the the nails and that, um, and especially on the feet as well. And even though that yes, it takes a whole team to get into because, like I said, it's a the, the zip is in the back, and I tried to. You know, sit down or something like that. But if you do have a detachable tail like that, um, it'll be best if you don't uh, slide down because of the fact being is that they do tend to unclip on you as well. I love the work that they do on the abs, as you can see there, as well. Um, they put a lot of detail, even though they've, that it's spray painted and all that kind of stuff and anything else. Um, I know for sure that it's done by computers and all that kind of stuff. The material is very very comfy and it can pretty much and it does really fit like a glove um, despite that it takes a team effort to to pull the, uh, the zipper right up onto the, uh, the thing in that but like I said this is for this is mainly for uh, pet play or something like that but I've just seen that other furries wear them as well so pet suit uh, all for fun caters to both furries and pups, which I really do like, even though it takes a bit to to get because it's the thing about it is that they're very they take very long to make and all that kind of stuff, so it's worth the wait. And I just sort of feel that they are absolutely amazing at this. Just for a company in Asia and all that kind of stuff. They are very, very amazing and I would honestly would consider ordering even a custom one for my for myself with a bigger tail. But all in all, um, I think that with the tails, um, I just thought that it would be really amazing if if they end up putting, you know, having custom tails to your persona. Um, also with the lizard things. Um, it would be really cool if they had the spikes and to be honest more thicker. They have also got toony tails like if you like out of a husky or if you were a cat. They also have latex um, bodysuits as well for your persona if you're really into these things. So, But to be honest with you because it is some company that shows fetish gear. If you're a minor, I pretty much wouldn't recommend it because like I said, um, I've got nothing personal against for fun. But it would be best if you are 18 years or older, if you do consider buying these sort of things from them. Because like I said, their products can, like, if you're not really careful or something like that, they can basically sky up. And anyway, I just don't want to have this video taken too long. If you do enjoy this content or something like that, if you do enjoy this review, even though that the lighting really sucks because, you know, I've probably, um, you know, had the window behind me, please press the like button down on the description below. If you like my content so far, make sure you please consider subscribing to this channel. I love you and appreciate if you do. Also, to be in the notification squad, make sure that you press the like button. The links to For Fun with their website, as well as 
my other usual social medias and ways to give me money is on the description description below. If you want to friend me on PSN, my game attack is El Brutal 21. In case you want to play with me on mainly other scrolls. And even if you are watching this video right now to the very end, even though it takes very very long, I would like to say that you know or or if you at least share it, please do. Please share it with your friends. Thank you so so much. I love each and every one of you. Use all awesome. Be who you want to be. Uh, and as always, you're amazing. You matter. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And until next time, thank you. And may the his guide you all. Bye for now. I'm so thankful for him to be my most recent subscriber to my YouTube channel. And that is other than the friendship that they actually made for me, which is really amazing. Um, I, if you're under, if you're around 18 years old, I really do recommend that you should check them out for any of the finished product, products in that and all the pet suits and things. They're really, really awesome. Um, you know. But anything else, I would like to say thank you so much. You are all amazing. Um, and like I said, I just want to say, yeah. So anyway, um, just like I said, let's uh, get with the hopefully um, the rest of this uh, theme. Or the outro.